right, Article 100, Demand Factor. This is the ratio of the maximum demand to the total connected load. Uh, a demand factor is something that we see a lot in Article 220 for load calculations. And then we'll see it in various articles uh, as well. Like, for example, you'll have Article 550, which covers uh, uh, manufactured homes and mobile homes. So here in the picture, we've got some manufactured homes. And we've got this service that supplies four manufactured homes. Now, each one of these has, I'm guessing, a 100 amp breaker. I took the picture, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get into the guy's service disconnect. So each one of these has a 100 amp breaker. From the 100 amp breaker to the unit, we have to size that basically at 100 amps, right? We can use uh, we can use 310.12 uh, to size it, but you know, basically. You, you got to assume that we're going to be using everything in the house at the same time. But we also recognize that, yeah, maybe one of those, maybe, is using everything in their house all at the same time, but certainly not all four of these are. So that's where we have a demand factor. So 550.31 uh, recognizes that fact, and it allows a demand factor of 39% for four manufactured homes. And of course, the, the more numbers of manufactured homes you have, the higher that number is going to get. It's going to say, look, not all four units are running all full bore at the same time. So we're going to apply a demand factor and let you size it not at 400 amps, but at something lower than that, right? So that's what a demand factor is. It's the ratio of the maximum demand to the total connected load. Be sure to like, Follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.